Hi friends! Welcome to Bella Stitchery. It's Tutorial Tuesday and today I want to show you how I made this card using Graphic 45 and a gift card die. Yes! How great is this? I recently found this gift card die for the Sizzix and I love it because I give gift cards almost all the time. So let me show you how I built this special greeting card. Okay, the first thing I did was I took an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock and cut it in half long ways to make my four and a quarter inch card, like so. Okay, that is the easy part. Then I just love this fairy dust line by Graphic 45. It is so cute. I had a bunch left over from a mini album I made a while back, so I thought I'd make a fun card. Um, for this card, I used mostly the 8x8 size, but I did use a little bit from the 12x12 as well. So I'll post links to both sizes in the description. And I also used some of the stickers. I just love stickers. <sighs> What's not to love about stickers? So, for the front of my card, I picked some of the purple. It's got kind of like a sparkly, looks like a galaxy, very fairy dusty, and a little matte section here. I'm gonna use that for my base on my card. Art Glitter Glue, hello. It is magical when it is not clogged. Always when I'm talking about it, right? I'm like this is the best stuff ever, oops. It really is cool. <laughs> it really is good glue. If you've used it before, you know. If you haven't used it before, check it out because it is kind of fun to use. And it's great for little tiny things like sequins and beads and stuff too. Okay, so the image I really liked for this is this fairy lady. She's so cute. Make a wish. I thought that was a great sentiment. Birthday card kind of reminded me of that. I also love doilies. They go on 90% of everything I do. And then I used my Sizzix and this doily die to cut from matching colored cardstock. I'm not sure this brand, but I'll find a similar one and post it in the description if you're interested in a doily die. They do give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to color and you know a little bit thicker of a cardstock than maybe your paper doily, although I have hundreds, maybe thousands of these in my craft room. So I thought I could layer it a little bit like so kind of give it some fun dimensional elements. Cards are so fun to make because each one is such a unique collage. You can use trinkets, you can use tiny pieces of leftover paper once you've done scrapbooking, if you're like me and you scrapbook too. Um, I just love that there's just no wrong way to do it and you could use whatever you want. And then these little bows, oh little bows, I made with my bow at all. And I do have a tutorial on my channel about how to use the bow maker. So check that out if you're interested. But these little guys, so cute. I love making bows. They add so much, so much character. I thought I'd just put a couple little bows here and there. I like a lot of dimension in my cards. If you've seen some of my other cards, this will not come as a shock. This is such pretty ribbon and kind of has a dreamy quality to it. So I thought this would work really well with this collection here. And then I found some roses. This is from Prima. Thought it matched quite nicely. And these little rosettes, which are cute. I think I got from maybe like the wedding aisle at a craft store, I don't know. I've had them forever. But they seem very wedding aisle-ish. And they're usually pretty inexpensive. You could get like a cluster of them for a couple bucks. And they're cute. They're a great size to fill in around cards. You know what I mean? Okay, let's put a couple more here with some hot glue. I like flowers, I like ribbon, I like jewels, glitter, fancy stuff on cards. You know what I mean? Gives it character. So just like so. 
just gluing stuff down. Make your own little happy collage there, however you like it. Do one more down here. And then I'm gonna put some glitter on her wings, but I'll save that till the very end because I'm gonna have this page open and I don't want the stickles to get everywhere. I have learned that the hard way. Um, maybe another one? No, I just do like that. What do you think? Pretty simple, right? But cute. And then my other favorite thing about card making is you don't just have to decorate the outside. I used to just do this and call it a day. But you know what? You have so much potential awaiting you inside. And that's the lovely part about Handmade is its recipient is already going to feel so appreciated because you made something special. But then they open it. It's unexpected. What? There's more? So I like to treat each panel as if it's its own card front. So I cut down some more of that same paper line. And with my art glitter glue here, First, I will unstick the dried art glitter glue. You may notice if you keep it uncapped long enough, it will do that, no problem. Good as new. I'm gonna put another little panel here, cut down to size. And I like these, oh man, this collection is adorable because there are so many great options to just cut apart. Look at this. How cute. Love, love, love. This is from here. As you can see, so this is from the 8x8. But they, oh man, I just, don't even get me started. It's adorable. Okay, so then I'm going to cut some more paper to do like as a background here. Like so. You just kind of layer. Let's do another doily. Why not? Doilies are so cheap. To buy in bulk honestly and they are adorable on everything so i'm gonna put some little layers there some little layers there magical and then this i hand cut before i started the video because otherwise this video would be an hour long but i hand cut here using a straight edge blade and then just some tiny scissors for the outside and I thought it'd be kind of cute to do like a pop-up somewhere. Maybe I'll shift this guy over a little. Give it a little bit extra magic, if you will. So since this is so tiny, I'm gonna use some pop dots. Cause it is very small. Usually I use cardboard behind my stuff because it's cheap and it's kind of recycling, which is fun. But these wings and all these little elements are, whew, maybe a little tricky. I'm just gonna put some pop dot circles here, like so. Okay. Man, these are tiny. I ordered these little dots online. I didn't realize how small they were, which is good on something like this, but they are so small. Look at the, I mean, that's like several dots. Okay, so once I have the backing off, I'm just gonna put this here. I just thought it would be something extra. I like extra. And then I also used a tag from the sticker sheet, matted it with purple, put a little brad in there, and I'm also gonna have this pop up. So I'm gonna go now to my cardstock, just a cardboard, and just cut out a little square. I keep packaging materials. I feel great about being able to reuse it instead of just breaking it down and throwing it away because I have a lot of packing materials at my house at all times. Okay, and then a little bit of glue there. Make a wish. Let's see, how about here? How about, how about, see, here. I just want it to pop up a little bit, but stay put. You could also put the brad just through your image too, but then it might swivel and I just wanted to, wanted to have control. Okay, so for this bottom panel, this is the fun part I've been very excited to show you. 
This will be for our gift card. So I recently got this Lawn Fawn die cut. This is for gift card slots. It comes with two different options. I'll show you the back. One option holds your gift card like so, and one in the corners there, see that? So depending on how you like it, you just pick one. I use this one, and let me show you how easy that is to use. So I'm trying to decide, maybe the size. Okay, so you put your die where you want it in your paper, and then you run it through your Sizzix, just like that. Let me show you. So I have my Sizzix here. I put my bottom sandwich board, my paper with the gift card holding die, maybe here. Just wanna make sure it lines up. You could add washi tape too, but I didn't feel like it shifted all that much. And then your top sandwich board. And just crank it on through. So now, when you take this down, I hear my kids, they're supposed to be napping. Supposed to be is the keyword. Okay, so here, boom, perfectly sized die. How cute is that? I found this from another crafter who was using this for cards and I was like, what is that die? That is so awesome. I do gift cards almost always as gifts and I was very excited to find this was a thing. So just be sure when you glue your card base that you don't glue these flaps you just die cut because you want those to pop back up. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna put this gift card back in here just so I kind of have an idea on where it's going to sit when it's done, like that. And then I also cut out this. This was from the larger 12 by 12 collection because it gave me a little bit more room to write my sentiment there. And I'm just gonna glue that right to the top here, like so. So cute. And there is the card basically done. Um, I'm gonna finish it off with a couple of rhinestones because why not? Rhinestones are great and shiny. So let's do a few, let's do a few over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of glue here. Put some purple bling here, like so. And maybe some on the front, what do you think? Maybe some down here. It's a nice finishing touch, I feel like. And now let's do some stickles. This is the diamond stickle. It is great because it's subtle enough that it, you could put it over any kind of color. I'm gonna put some stickles on her wings. I feel like you almost can't do a magical card or a scrapbook page without glitter. Isn't that part of the magic? So we'll do some on her dress there. Let's do some on her crown. Maybe even on the flowers, why not? Why not, right? Um, and I, th I like it, I feel good about it. So I'm gonna let that sit far, far away from me because the temptation to smash my hand into things when they are wet is just too great. But here's my finished card. Cuteness, right? What do you think? Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this collection. Have you used it before? How much do you love it? I love Graphic 45, pretty much everything they make. Um, let me know what you think of this Lawn Fawn die. I mean, what a cool idea, and it's perfectly sized. You don't even need to measure anything other than make sure it fits your paper. And subscribe to my channel. Be sure to ring the bell, that way you're updated every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for joining me today on Tutorial Tuesday, and check it out, try it out. Let's go make some stuff, bye.